email. It's actually just literally a, off one of me commenters about the microphone. I've always had problems with it. I don't know whether or not it's the microphone directly, but it, there's a lot of distortion. Now, I have got a fan in the background because, because where I live, it's like... 30 degrees in here so i have the fan blowing but i think it affects the microphone but i apologize for that but what i will be sorting out very soon um and i'm st i've just started recording we're um, going to install windows 98 on this virtual machine now windows 98 i would say unarguably is the best operating system that microsoft ever done Never mind about ME or, you know, I might, I must have, I started off in the early days of Windows installing. I think, I don't think I actually installed from 2.0 maybe. No, 3, 3, it'd be 3.0, 3 3.1 workbench, work, work, workstation version, is it? And um, I'm just making sure, I'm hoping that, um, cause I've got the fan out of the way, I'm hoping that, um, actually this microphone I'm using is a Logitech one. And I got it off my wife, and it should be quite good, but I, all I've had is no end of problems. <laughs> so many problems I have with this computer. I'm due, I, I did say in a previous video, I am actually after an upgrade. So I'm um, just uh, a lizard. Anyway, we're going to kick in, and we're going to start up with installing Windows 98. I just need actually video out. I'll edit out that video. I don't think you'll record that. I'm hoping I want to get rid of that video bit, but where it is when on my Facebook channel. Right, we need to look for a key. Uh, Windows 98. Whoops. SE key. I do. I did remember having one um, many, many moons ago. I actually had a full version of Windows 98 because my father was an engineer, and we managed to get. <coughs> certified my windows keys uh, right okay what we got here BN, yeah, that'll do right I'm gonna keep that one right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the editor I am into the emulator sorry my apologies and we're gonna make sure everything's right is it loading there we go Right, so if you're recognising the previous video, I had it set up on this. Now, it should, Windows 98 should run a hack properly on this. Without a problem, <coughs> I've got the hard disk set up, I've got the CD-ROM drive set up. And they should have a mouse driver, and the CD-ROM drive should be configured. I'm going to run this in real time. So you'll hear me waffle all about it all again. Anything, you know, you know what I'm like. Um, if you've seen my videos, you need. I tend to talk, talk a lot, and someone's ping me. Why did he want me? Go away. Who's that? One second, guys. Go away. You know what I hate? Oh, it's my mate, James. What's he got? Power station. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this to load. It's like I said, X81. <coughs> right, okay, wait, alright. Go away! Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll be back soon. I'm recording. <laughs> right, so um, he should be gone and not bothering me now for a little bit while I do this. Right, we're on the drive. It took a little while for that. My apologies. Have I just got rid of... Oh, you idiot. I've just um, removed the key because I closed all the windows. <laughs> right, um, so we've got a Windows 98 key. Windows 98 keys. Um, Windows 98 SE product key. Right, okay. Right, what we're going to do now is we're actually currently in Windows. Um, dot in DOS. Sorry, I'm just because I'm working between two screens and my mind's a bit. Right, we need to go to cabs, which is the folder. When I used to work in the colleges and the computer shops and all that kind of stuff, we set up a folder. Do you remember when you used to get the computers and it was all pre installed with Windows? Well, this is what they used to do. They used to copy the cabinet files from the CD ROM drives. It was easier just to set up. And the drivers we poked, um, 
reported straight away. So if you look in there, there, there's the drivers. Right. What you can do is you can go set up forward slash question mark. Now that basically just use up the help page. Right. So we can go set up. Um, I um, did a did a copy. I don't need it. In fact, I'll leave the RAM drive in. Uh, skip start up disk screen. Right. Okay. So we are IE. Whoops. And that's all we need, really. I don't think it's skip the checks for low conventional memory. Do not do a scan disk. Oh, it's all right. Mm, that'll do. So basically, here it is, starting up 98. And it shouldn't be as... as oh, there, there. Okay, the mouse is a bit... A bit randy. I'm in a good mood today because it's actually my birthday. The, I could imagine me doing a video on my birthday. So, yeah, I'm 53 today. I'm 53 young. It just gives you an idea. I started um, writing software and building PCs when I was 11. I sold my first program when I was about 14. My first product. Um, so... Right, okay, so ignore me now because I'm just um, setting up window. Actually, the startup screen and the, the way it runs through beginning this process isn't as long, is it, compared to 95? 95, 95 I, I was growing a lot. You know, oh, bah, bug off. Yeah. You know what? Technology phone technology is there to design is designed to screw is designed to stress you out that's why they do it that's why they've done it to so make you keep on um, uh, you know attracted to using your phone yeah I recognize that you go in a shop and the kids all the kids are using mobile phones right and I remember, I'll tell you about it in a minute, once I'm setting all this up, I'll tell you a little story, right? Because I live in the Philippines, and this can happen anywhere now. I was doing my emigration card. You know, because I, I, cause I'm, I'm British. All uh, right, okay, one second, let me just sort out. I don't know why I keep doing this, I don't even use them. Um, but it's just a routine because because I've done it so many times, and I think it's just a routine en engineers do. Um, hmm. I look at online services, you can bog off. That is that. That bet I say oh well. Oh yeah, look, American Online, uh, Network, WorldNet. No, Prodigy. Yeah, that was the main ones. CompuServe, AT and T. That's the obviously it's the American one, but um, what's in the tools? All right, okay, never mind. Right, so work groups. I what you should do is go MS Home on that because you could link it to ni uh, Windows ninety uh, Windows XP. It would be, it would run perfectly with Windows XP if you just left it as it is. Right, okay. Um, we'll just leave that as it is. Because we don't need to change it because I've got an English American keyboard, sorry. Um, I'll just keep it American Standard Time. Copying files, right. Right, yeah, basically what happened was I was in um, the immigration in, in, in Manila. Manila is like the centre of the Philippines, basically. Um, and what it is is more kids nowadays there was this little kid and it honestly it must have been about what maybe a year old and there was this guy sat near him using a mobile phone and the lad this little kid just grabbed the phone straight off him and started using the phone and his mother said no leave him with it wait a minute this, this guy is a complete stranger and, you know, you look at it nowadays and all the kids go wild for mobile phones, tablets, um, more, you know, you know, that kind of stuff, laptops. But main, mainly it's tablets and mobile phones because there's games on them. 
the these these they like the menus. They like to play phone. You know, they play like to play on YouTube. But yeah, this kid, this lad, this young lad, was using his mobile phone, and this kid, this little infant, was in his wheelchair, and his he caught, you know his bed his a child chair basically, and he just grabbed the phone, clean out the guy's hands, and the guy looked at me and, well, what? And um, the mother was um, just sort of there, looked down, looked at the kid. He, she sort of said, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and then give him the phone back, basically. But she was sort of, oh, I sh you know, I'm not bothered. You know what I mean? But I, we have went into so many sh places like restaurants. Um, a, a, a big one, a common one is going into places like, you know... Um, Oh, what's that? The siren one. Uh, Starbucks. The woman with the two legs. The two legs open. But yeah, it's like probably attracting people to the shop. Because that's what the reference of the logo is. But you go in there and they're just everybody. Everybody's using mobile phones. They're, not, they're oblivious to the world. And companies like that. Companies like coffee shops know this so they'll put on the internet in there to attract them there the only thing is well if all the um ones down here um the internet you have to pay for they're not they're not actually free internet but a lot of them are you know hotels and stuff they have all um um free internet a lot of these places but starbucks doesn't not to my knowledge anyway and it's weird that because um, I've only found a handful of Starbucks. Oh, they do have toilets. Yeah, my, my majority of them do have lavatories. But we have a lot of shops which don't have lavatories. So we're straight with that. But yeah. Um, but wherever you go now, you, you, you say, look, go into McDonald's. Sit down at McDonald's and don't eat anything. Just watch. And watch how many people... With kids, just walk in, sit down, put the foods out, and shove a phone in their hands. And the kids will not let go of the phones. They'll just play on the phones all day long. Now, a big thing what people were saying, scientists were saying, was it's dropping the IQ of kids. Because kids aren't there. You know, if you're of my age, you're 50 years old or something like that, of that range, mobile phones wasn't didn't really exist. You had the, the old dial-up phones. You had, um, you know, you, you, kids don't even go out now and play football or basketball or baseball or whatever. They just sit at home on, on, on a computer playing video games, shooting stuff. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. May, say something in the comments. Am I right or am I wrong? You know, they, they, they actually say that they... they the IQ of children has dropped considerably because all they're doing, they don't even, you know, some of them, you ask them, you ask them a question like, you know, what's the capital of Germany? What's the capital of the UK? What's the capital of America? And half of them get it wrong because they're not bothered. They don't even know how to count. You know, what's the quarter of this or what's the quarter of that? What's 5% of 100? Do you know what I mean? And it, it's really stressing because these kids, all they do all day long is go tick, 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 tick on a mobile phone. Look at my leg. Click. Oh, my God. Don't I moan? But when you think about it, it's, it's right, isn't it? I read it. That's where I'm getting the key from for this. It's taking a lifetime, isn't it? The mouse still going, so it's not crashed. So the... I think this, yeah, this emulator is not bad actually. It's a pretty good emulator. It's lasted quite a while. Um, as far as this particular that BIOS is, that it's yeah. Because the, obviously the other ones that he, you could use is like and uh, the VMware stuff and all these other emulators. But they all they do is run virtual machines, uh, but they don't sim they don't as such simulate hardware. You couldn't not like this sexy 86 box. This 86 box, you can. Uh, this is what I like about it. that's what I'm testing it out is to see 
whether or not it'll properly simulate hardware. You know, like like proper graphics cards, you have to install, you have to set up as if you're going out to a shop. I used to go out to computer shops to buy the hardware. This is going back in the 90s. And I would buy, say, when I, when I was in a college, excuse me, I'd buy Cyrix chips, I'd buy Intel chips, I'd buy AMD K6 chips, I'd buy certain slot chips, Super Socket 7, Socket 7, Socket 5, 6, um, Socket 1, Socket A and all this kind of stuff. Not not like today, now, you've you got three primary ones, haven't you? Or three, well, the two primary manufacturers now is obviously AMD and Intel. Uh, you don't. I, I, IBM are mainly servers. I uh, other companies like Hewlett Packard and stuff. They do, they do build their own processors because they're all got their own silicon plants. But you know, you come along and <coughs> you buy a, a, a motherboard, and the motherboard um, nowadays has everything on it. But when, when when we first started out building computers. You know, if you're going back, really going back, you're going 8086 days when I st first started building PCs. You know, everything was on a card. So you'd, you'd get the motherboard, you'd install the the RAM card, you'd install the IDE controller, you'd install the CD-ROM, no, not CD-ROM control, the mouse controllers, so um, the RS-232 ports and all that kind of stuff. Um additional hard cards and all that kind of stuff nowadays it's all on the board it's all it's all in a compact chip even this you know you you get even like nowadays you know everything's controlled on one chip like the arduino kind of stuff and even though these new processors you know the, was it snapdragon which is basically what are going to be shipped out um uh, their arm chips you know arm um which originally came from a company called Acorn, Acorn Computers, which manufactured in the BBC in the UK, the BBC Computers, Acorn, the Elk, um, the Atom, all them kind of machines, which were um, all the way up to the Archimedes, and obviously when when the 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 eight the eight bit and the sixteen bit areas started to die off with 30, when the thirty two bit started to become more available, like the IBM PC. They sort of died off a bit, but they were too expensive anyway, um, especially Acorn. I had like, I had the, I had a couple of BBC Masters, a couple of BBC Bs. I had an Elk, which is the um, the Electron. They're a good little computer. The only thing is, everything run on one chip, on them ones. You know, you open it up, it's just a controller chip, and it was ARM. It was ARM technology. Before it started to come into mobile phones. Now you nowadays you look, what is it? Routers, modems, computer systems, mobile phones, anything what has a communications chip is an ARM chip. You know, you come along and tablets, and they're getting faster and faster and faster. You know, you the these chips were coming out absolutely really cheap. You know, being produced in China and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, though, is the compatibility problem, because even though <laughs> the, 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 these little chips, these little um, processors, these ARM chips were dead cheap, they were also not very good compatibility with to do with the PCs we have today. So in other words, they can simulate so much, but performance issues and the heating of them, it, you know, I think... I was using, I was writing code for um, Arduinos. Is it Arduino or was it Raspberry Pis? Sorry, my apologies, Raspberry Pis. And that little chip um, would have, the very first editions had heating issues and you'd have a fan. And I run it, I wrote um, like a kind of a NAS server software for it one time. And I used it literally for about maybe three years. And eventually it just died on you because it over it burnt out eventually. And I don't mind, but it had a fan on it and everything. Um, you know, a, a CPU fan on it, like with a heat sink and stuff. And the thing still burnt out.
Yeah, long gone are the days of the the big processors like the six eight thousands and uh, and even the the processors what they have in the servers, the big processor. You know, the biggest one what was available to the public, I would say, you could buy, was say the Pentium Pros. That chip was massive, but now um, what it is, it's the Xeons and the Epic chips, which is AMD, they are the like the Fred Rippers, their their chips are massive. I'm only talking because it's 58%. It's like taking a lifetime. <laughs> but as you can tell, I talk a lot. But um, is the mouse still going? Is it not crashed? Nope, it's not crashed. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Um, but when you get back to it, kids are just, you, you know, they're just bombarded now nowadays. With all the stuff which is on mobile phones, so and it's just designed. It's specifically designed to come to keep your mind occupied, and obviously to get a reaction out of you. So you know you go and see social media, and you look and you see a posting with something you don't agree with. You'll either go like, not like, and make a comment, and so on. Because what they want to do is companies like Facebook and Twitter and all them, they want to monitor, see what you're doing, what your habits are. And then like a week later, you start getting postings in your emails, you start getting letter uh, messages saying, oh, um, maybe you might like this at this shop because you spoke the other day about a pair of shoes. Talk, and it, you know, you talk about big brothers watching. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, it's ironic, really, because uh, because if you look on the start of my desktop, right, you know the the thumbnails I'm doing with the dog, it's all AI, it's artificial intelligence. I use a website to design that dog, so I just type in, um, do a dog, and then I just 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 do some editing. But you can literally do anything with it. I always have a if you look at them, some of the dogs I've got floppy disks behind them, and then you've got ones using computer screens, and I've put a dog with glasses on. That's all AI generated. So it just shows you. You couldn't have done that twenty years ago, ten years ago even. I remember Bill Gates saying um on some show one time that eventually artificial intelligence will be used a lot more but uh, we don't know what his limitations are and it's sort of coming that way isn't it because when you think about it the the artificial intelligence in movies is starting to come life in the real world you know they've got artificial intelligent robot dogs crystal diamond uh, is it crystal diamond dynamics i can't remember him now but they they got robots. Even Musk has got his own dog, Annie, and his own robots. They've got little drones which um, go around the streets looking at your face, facial recognition, look at the cameras. They've even got technology now that if you pull a, gun, uh, pull a handgun out on someone, the actual technology can identify one if it's a gun, and if it's actually a gun, and whether or not you're going to use it in a certain way. And within a second, um, the police have been notified if you're going to attack someone. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> um, what are we on? 68%? Yeah. MMX, technology. Uh, multimedia extreme. Multimedia expanded, I think it was. Uh, this was... I think that we, it took, so, you know, they were so expensive, the, the processors back then. Not nowadays. You can pick them up for a, a couple of cents or a couple of quid or a couple of pesos or a couple of dollars. Well, not even dollars, cents, in it. Literally, you could buy like an old uh, Mac processor, like a Pentium, and it'll cost you next to nothing. But when you put it into a motherboard, it costs a lot more because... It's all a combination of various things now. But you can still go to like a, f a flea market, we used to call it, car boot sales and all it, and pick up a computer, a complete computer, for say $5. And you could have the same experience 
as buying a PC. You know, it's just depending if you've got a bit of knowledge on repairing it, if you if there's something wrong with it. But I've seen so many Facebook videos or uh, not Facebook, um, YouTube videos, TikTok videos of these people going to waste disposal places and literally just picking up complete computers. I think there was a video I was watching once in Australia and this guy who picks up trash computers, trash technology, and he was it was getting the stuff given to him from the um, universities and big businesses, banks and stuff, and all they done was like take the hard disks out and shredded them. But he was getting high end PCs, stuff what would like take you know, servers and stuff. And you're talking five, six, ten thousand dollars and they're just throwing it away because they're writing it off with the insurance to get another one. And this guy was picking up microprocessors, all the latest chips within a, within a year um, from the scrap places and all he was doing was stripping them down, taking the processors out, melting it down. He, he would sell a lot of it on eBay, Flea Bay, and, but a lot of the older stuff, a lot of the older processors, they obviously contain gold and so does the motherboard. So people, what people used to do was get the motherboards off the machines um, take the fingers off, which is the circuit board parts, which you slot in the cards, because they're all gold. And then you, you put them in some form of acid, and it'll take the gold off, and then once you've melted the gold down, you can you could sell it to gold merchants, and you get a lot of money for it. It's mad, that. <laughs> I was going to do it myself, actually, but I've, nah... It, it get it's too messy and the, you know the, it's a fire hazard. Oh look, please register your copy of Windows 98. <sighs> you know what? They're probably half that team which are on Windows 98 there and now either retired or got made redundant because Microsoft shipped all the engineers. Um, afterwards, they, they became that that team which is like you know the. You become part of this team, which is the Microsoft Thingy Team. Well, what do you call them? Um, I forget what the name of it is. Oh, look. I really need, I think I might. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, it's got a caps file, so it should be all right. Um, what did he call them? The insider. Well, what they, what these engineers don't realize, what these people don't realize when they join. I hear that so many people. Oh, I've joined the insider. But what you didn't know is fifteen thousand engineers at Microsoft lost their jobs because of that, because Microsoft was looking towards saving money. So most of the engineers, as from, I think it was the, the Windows eight days, either Windows eight and late 7, Windows 7, they actually, Microsoft, uh, made a lot of develop engineers redundant. And what it was, was because of the fact that Microsoft wanted to save money by using engineers um, through the teams of, uh, you know, it really cheesed me off that, though. I've never been an engineer for Microsoft. That was an engineer for IBM. But when you do stuff like that, that sickness, that, Yeah, installing for the first time. That's actually it's actually running quite well. This one. Yeah, I'm quite. Oh, there you go. Look, it's running. It's actually it's not a bad BIOS. This one. I'll have to check and show you. Yeah. Obviously, they're starting up the initial process now. Now this version of Windows 98 is basically. Whoop, no, I need just to change the mouse actually. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. have we got a mouse? Right, okay, so we'll just flip back again and we'll go casing, which is my name backwards uh, if anyone wants to know. And we'll just go bing. Now, here's the product key. Right, uh, P R D D H. P R D D H. I'm not bothered, I'll give it a. Oops. 
83 J D 9 G6 PK G6 PK oops PK <coughs> where PK4 um eight six eight four six eight four six eight four gf gf and the last one is six y uh six thirty eight if you're interested in the key codes they're on reddit <laughs> now it should go through if it doesn't i think i've got my old key All oh, right. Okay. What have I typed wrong? P i d d h eight three eight three j d nine g six g eight oh g g six k p four okay. Oh, it's k p a okay. P k four six eight. 4GF 6Y 7 3, oh B not 8 B my apologies there you go <laughs> ah, I should go through if it doesn't I'll just have to remember the other code or I'll try another code there you go yeah, you can find that on Reddit. So anyone, it's public knowledge, so I'm not bothered if I give you the key. If it was a public key, because no, I would say the only people that are using Windows 98 now is either in the 90s and printing in their own, playing with Solitaire, or don't, you know, can't be bothered with computers are not all connected to the internet, which you probably can't, you probably can connect to the internet with it. There's still abundance of software. You know, people that were like genuine followers. Yeah, bless her. She took me out. Uh, it's my birthday today. I say I'm 53. So we decided over here, I, wa I said I wanted to go to Perry Perry, which is like a kind of um, Perry Perry chicken. Now, you've probably heard of Perry Perry chicken. But we I drove down to where we, li we live near a volcano and there's loads of um, restaurants around the uh, perimeter of the volcano because <sighs> it's a holiday resort. And Perry Perry's moved. So you could say it was a bit cheesed off. So we ended up going to Army Navy. So we ended up driving from where we was to Silang. Now if you live in the Philippines, you know where Silang is. You know, if you live in, in my area. Because a lot of people, it's a holiday resort. It's like the equivalent of Blackpool. Or it's like the equivalent of California, Miami. You know, if you live in like an area which is a tourist place. Well, Tagai Tai, which I live in, is very similar to that kind of thing. Other than it's a massive big crater with a volcano in the middle. It erupts every 84 years, and we've been we've been fortunate. We had one eruption um, in 2000 where we had to leave the area. We went to Baguio, but it was like it was me and my wife's sort of wedding anniversary. So it's so it was sort of ready to come. The ironic thing is that very day that the volcano erupted. This PC, what I'm using, the big PC, the one I do my work on, I actually bought the parts from PC Express that day. So, basically, we got back here. Got, I put the parts, I built the PC on the table, set it all up. We didn't even switch it on because the volcano was erupting. I, I thought, hey, up, uh, the place is shaking. We had, vol we had um, 
earthquakes and they were like four pointers and three pointers and five pointers so <coughs> I didn't use the computer the power went off we had a power cuts we had blackouts brownouts whatever you want to call it um, from the time of about five o'clock six o'clock in the afternoon till well a, f a fortnight I think it was two weeks maybe a week and a half so we ended up going upstairs and lying down on the bed and it was just hot and there was no power so we regretted that so what we decided to do was when we got back from Baggio we went we stayed the week at Baggio and I, uh, the only thing I didn't take was my laptop I kicked myself with that I should have brought my laptop but um, fortunately my mobile, mobile phone was a good phone for a connect, you know talking on the internet so I was able to conversate with my father and with my mother um, with, other, with my daughters and stuff <coughs> so I was able to talk to him whilst and it was all over the news the volcano was erupted and stuff the place actually when we got back to where I live was completely covered in stuff now this was before I had a car so um, otherwise I'd have drove to Bago it's about seven and a half hours drive so this is the thing about the Philippines it's not a small country there's a lot of driving involved. I, I, I the average is um, where I live. It takes us about. It's mainly to do with the traffic, though. You know, I could. I, I went to. We went to uh, during the Christmas time during this um, December. We decided to go to the coast and have a holiday there, and it usually takes about three hours, three to three and a half to um, two. Three hours to three and a half hours it took to drive to this coast, to this hotel. So we stayed overnight at this hotel and we went back the next day. And because of the traffic, it took us nearly six and a half to seven hours to get back to where we lived because of the traffic. You know, we've, we'd filled the car up <coughs> with fuel and the car was to the top. And by the time we got back, it was like nearly empty. So it just shows you, and it's all stopping and starting. Um, unbelievable. But it's all to do with the traffic, hardware detection. You see, you look at this one, you know, I was saying in the, in the previous video, the hardware detection is a lot faster in this one than it is on the other one. The plug and play was a lot more accurate. And I think there was a video, I think we've all seen it. There's a video of um, Bill Gates stood there with some engineer at Microsoft and they were saying um, oh look is that we're going to test the new blue the the um, new plug and play and obviously it became up with a blue screen of death installing say a scanner or a printer and he's made obviously Bill Gates's comment was oh well that's the reason why we're not shipping windows yet yeah Instead of doing instead of doing this for Lampers, you should have stayed at Microsoft, because everyone everyone about these um, medications and about these immunizations and about the needle and stuff, everybody hates him now. Anyway, we won't go into that one. Oh, have you said? Did you see the Biden and um, the Trump interview? The the what do you call it? Um, the debate. Biden's not well, you know. You look at him; uh, he looks like he's showing signs of, signs of heavy dementia. Uh, they, they're saying it all over the news. He's the fittest he's ever been. He's, no, uh, for anyone who's got any form of knowledge of what goes on, you see these people with a dementia and stuff. He's a prime example. He started what? He started talking on, saying about certain things. Um. You know about the past he said about his son dying um in a war or summer uh, and then he's sort of saying about this and about that then he's having to go at trump uh, but trump stood his ground I, I don't mind but he said to me i i can i can win you any day at golf um trump plays against a lot of real high-end um golfers he's got no chance Huh. 
It's just, it's just so ironic. And CNN, the thing is, though, CNN was saying you cannot... Um, they had to say... They were giving um, Trump, say, two minutes to talk, but they were giving Biden six minutes to talk, which is unfair, really. In certain sections, he actually had more chance to talk than... No, what I'm saying is... Um, it wasn't a fair, it wasn't a fair debut, you know, um, it wasn't a fair um, interview or a fair debate. It was, it was all f going towards, oh, well, um, he knows what he's talking about and yeah, no, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not a lover of top politics, but you saw, if you look at it now, it's all going on all over the world. You've got the UK, you've got Rishi Sunak. Now him, he's, um, his wife is a multi-billionaire. And she made her money mainly, apparently, on medical masks and all that kind of stuff. And, and the, is it, not Moderna, is it the other one, AstraZeneca or whatever. She made a load of money, he became a multi-billionaire because of that. But he's sort of saying, like, he became prime minister. I've got no, we've got no money, the country's got no money. But yeah, she's a billionaire. And then you've got all this useless stuff, you have to research. If you live in the UK, research on 50 minute cities and, um, <coughs> ULEZ and all that kind of stuff because it's not good. They're going to put you in 15 minute cities. You won't be able to leave your area. That's why you're seeing all these shops being put up. All these like mo um, these shopping precincts and all that kind of stuff. And if you count it out, they're all within the 15 million area. So you can't leave areas. They were putting up cars. That's why you get camera surveillance and all sorts. And it's happening worldwide. It's not happening here at the moment, but I don't think it'll happen in the Philippines. But they are trying to push the cashless society, which is all um, digital money, digital, because they're looking towards chain. You see, the big problem is, if it's going to be CBDCs, right, we're getting ready to... If it's going to be CBDCs, that means they'll control your bank money. They can cut you off. Where if you ever say anything which they don't agree with, they'll cut your money off. It needs to be eight hours I've had. Oh, you could tell her what I need, need to sort this out. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. I think it, that one will do. Oh, is it Singapore? You could either use that one, Beijing or Singapore. Singapore's about the same time, so. A42. Oh, this mouse is a bit randy. Wah, wah, wah. Right, okay. Yeah, I need to change the mouse driver. Setting up the control panel. You see how it's not as long? I don't know how long it is yet because it doesn't... Does it give me a time? What is it saying on the time? Oh, this mouse, it's doing me head in. What's it saying? Oh, 43 minutes. Now, compared when I first set up Windows 95, it's it was nearly two and a half hours. So obviously Microsoft did tie down, did knuckle down, as they say, with the with the installation process compared to Windows 95. Windows 95 took an age. I need to get some more water. I've actually got a bottle of Sprite in there. I'm going to have a drink of Sprite in a minute. I know I shouldn't do, but I don't care. It's my birthday and I like sugared drinks. I was good to that. I like I like Perry Perry's um, thing, but um, I don't know whether or not people have recognised the way I talk. So I've actually got ADHD, 
um, or ADD or whatever you want to call it. They call it different things. Isn't it? I lose interest in stuff very quickly. I'm surprised that I'm not bored of this. Um, but <coughs> yeah, um, we was going to originally go to Pancake House, which is another Filipino branded restaurant over here. Uh, but they were doing a doing a training day. So I ended up going to Army Navy, which is another like burger company over here. It's really nice. The the um, I usually, if I don't know if you look on my channel, I do do food. I do sort of short end um, food blogs, and I do like mainly Jollibee, uh, KFC, um, Chow King, and all them. Just to tell you what you what you get. Um, uh, I should have done that one. I like Army Navy. The actual onion rings are really good. And I had um, a jolly, a jolly, jolly boy sandwich or something. It was like they had um, chicken on it. it had um, salad and cheese and chilies and all. Oh, it was lovely. My wife, she had uh, she had a bit. I can't remember what she had now. Oh, it was it was. She's Filipino. She's gonna be out to be somewhere with rice. Um, but I think she had fish. She likes she likes fish food, not fish food, uh, but you know what I mean. Anyway, yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting to find out what happens next now because. You had like, like say the Trump situation, Trump and um, um, Biden, and you know it looked like. Don't get me wrong, it looked like Biden was up to the eyeballs on drugs. He was on some because his eyes were blow. He was at his, his fe he didn't even know what planet he was on. He's on. I always thought it was a bad idea when they put him in. He was installed. He wasn't voted for him. He was put in. Most of these ones nowadays, they're, they're put in by um, the equivalent of Golo, bless you, you want to call that. You know, they're, in, they're installed to do a specific performance. And um, they're basically politicians. They just tell you what they want to hear, you want to hear. They're going to do this and they're going to do that for you. But when it comes there, when they get in and they become prime minister or they become president or whatever, it very rarely changes. The only person that did actually change said that we were going to do was Trump. But I, it's like saying most things, I'm still not trustworthy of Trump. Because Trump had said some things during the time with the pandemic, and um, you sort of question even the pandemic. Though, you know, he was, ax you know, yeah, I didn't feel happy with that. <laughs> yeah, um, certainly didn't trust what was going on. <clears throat> but yeah, keep your eye out for. Honestly, go online. And type in CBDCs, central bank digital currencies. They are planning, literally planning. Don't take my word for it. Look for it. You know, if you can prove me wrong, tell it. But he's no. With they've already started with agenda agenda 2030. That's already went through because we got the virus. But now they're going to be going for the banking system because what what will happen is. They'll change to the central bank digital currency. They'll put a chip on you. You'll have to get money through this chip. Now this chip can be your mobile phone. Yeah. An embedded chip in your hand or whatever. They, whichever way they're going to do it. Now the thing is, they're going to say to you, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Um, they'll give you money providing you do this, that and the other. With cash, you could just go into a shop, give them cash. Not a problem. But now these shops which are abiding by it are saying, no, we can't take cash anymore. So what happens if you go, if say, for example, you're in the middle of somewhere and 
the only thing you've got is paper money and they don't accept paper money or you've got a card um, <laughs> with no credit on it no money on it or you've been stopped like they do in China because in China they have what's called um, a social credit system they say that if you've been a good person you can have some money you can travel look on it um, you know, communist countries they're going along there's people there which can't, you know, if they've like, they've had a day off or they've said something or they're even jaywalking. You go walking down the street and you've refused something what the government have said. They cut your card off and they actually point at you in the street with facial recognition and say, this person's done wrong. So you, you're automatically getting victimised. Have a look on it. Check it out. Surveillance cameras pointing up you if you're walking down the street and suddenly you turn in the wrong street they'll say to you 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 are such and such a person you shouldn't have done this we have doctored you cannot go traveling on a train or you going traveling on a bus this is why the, this is reason why they're pushing electric cars because you get into an electric car what what they were saying klaus schwab now klaus schwab's finished um he doesn't work for um world economic forum now but he was using the situa situation to push electric cars, electric cars, self-driving cars. Think about it. You want to go out somewhere, you get an electric car and you say, I want to go here and there. If it's without the perimeters of 50 miles, and they won't let you, they won't take you. Won't take you, sorry, you can't do all that way. But if you haven't paid your dues to the government, what else will it do? It'll take you to a police station. It'll do this, it'll do that. It bugs out. It, even there was all sorts of things. I had like loads of videos on to do with um, Tesla cars, and they were catching fire, and they were saying, "Oh no, it's all right. The the electric batteries work on them and stuff." I've seen these things go up, and um, but the the thing is though, like everything else, eventually they've only got a life expectancy of about ten years. But the thing is, though, they, they, they're setting it up for a reason. They're configuring... Uh, I'm thinking about computing now. They're, they're doing these electric cars and these electric buses and trucks. See, if you run a truck, the truck will takes a lot more power than a car. And it, it transports a lot more weight. And the thing is, though, you need a power station <laughs> to power a, a, um, a car. You need... a 10 power stations to power a truck because the amount of power it uses don't take my word for it Re research it I'm waffling on now <laughs> it's because I'm waiting on this <laughs> I think my sprite will be ready shortly if you've got an electric car see how long it lasts and the other thing what I found out was you? I know a guy who bought um, a Porsche. What do you call him? I forget what it is called. Can, can, it was a, it was a late EV car, a Porsche car, right? It was about uh, is it about sixty odd grand or something? And it found out that when he wanted to trade it in, the actual companies what buy the cars offer literally pennies for it. We seen what it does. Here we go. Windows 98. Now then, the big question is, what will it do with the sound? Don't need a password. Will it? Will it find a sound card driver? Usually it does. Ha! I, uh, my wife said to me earlier, I'm just before because I went for a lie down. She said, "You know what? You know what, Miguel, my nephew is said." I says, "Why? What's he said?" He says, "Um." Wish Nick happy birthday, and can he buy me a McDonald's? <laughs> Wait a minute, what about me? You cheeky little cat. Oh, bless him. He's always asking for money off his auntie. How cheeky is that? <laughs> 
yeah it all it's going to the info folder this has driver side and drivers yeah. enough of me talking me brain boiling stuff now I'm just going to carry on and set up windows I think next time in the next video we're doing Windows 2000 I'm in fact I've got NT actually I might do NT 401 oh not got a driver right sounds like an old choo choo train it's like building up in it da -da -da. <laughs> that isn't my headset guys by the way if it's not me recording that's the emulator by the way so please don't have a go at me <laughs> Right, okay, Microsoft, shut up. Right, okay, so obviously, oh, right, okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sh shut down the PC. Oh, look, there's the welcome screen. And it's not found the correct graphic, graphics drive driver yet. But we're going to try... He's found the colours, but he's not found the backdrop colour. So he's running in 16-bit colour. So we need to... Ooh. God, the mouse is a bit... If I shut down... Oh, right. Okay, so power management is not active yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fiddle around... <coughs> And see if we can get the performance right. Right then. Oops. Right, so we've got the motherboard up. Shall we keep the motherboard the same? Yeah, I think we will actually. Display. Whoops. Display. Oh, I think I'll change the graphics card. And I'll change it to a... Let's have a look at Phoenix. Don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know how, what memory it's got. Why is it 4 megabytes? Does it go any more? Just 4 meg. We'll have a look at that one. Right, mouse driver. We definitely need to look at a mouse driver. So, import mouse is usually the good best one. Um, which one have I got there? That's PS2 mouse. Logitech mouse. Don't want to. Microsoft serial mouse. All right. On COM port 2, 1. Okay, sound card. Now is the bigger. Right, we've got a sound blaster. So if we go sound blaster 16, what else is there? Which would be the better? Adlib Gold. Adlib had a good driver set for Microsoft. So if we go to, we're going to have a go on Admit. Adlib. Adlib. <laughs> uh, Newt, whatever. Network, and we just go ports. Right, okay. One parallel port, two serial ports. We don't need to config pass throughs control them you don't need to change them hard risk controller that's the fastest in RAM right okay got the CD-ROM drives uh, DVD right okay I think we'll be good to go other peripherals okay so a lot of it will be this motherboard. We can't really configure it, so we could change it to the Pentium Pro. Now the Pentium Pro Pro goes up to 200 megahertz now. Yeah, it should be okay. So let's try it with the Pentium Pro and not the overdrive chip. Right, so floating point F FPU. Yeah, let's go floating point. That might uh, change the acceleration. It doesn't like the sound driver, does it? That is actually the emulator. It's not actually. If you can hear this sound, please forgive me. Because it's the emulator. It's not actually. Wow. 
Oh, that's horrible, that, isn't it? I have to change the video buffer in. Part of configuration. We're going to change that. That is horrible. So we're going to change the sound card. Uh, we'll change the sound card. Not to have Libgo. We'll go to Sound Blaster 16. Plug and play. Sound Blaster 16. I'll tell you what. We'll go to the A32. Our A32. Onboard RAM. Further RAM. I didn't know we had further RAM. Go 28 megabyte. Go on. Go on. We'll treat it. Control PC speaker. No thanks. Um, right, that'll do it again. Look, no sound. All, all the actually, if you if you know anything about systems, all the only thing what was the Pentium Pro was just back to back cache memory. It was just basically two processors stuck together in one in one die. Uh, I'll just do it uh, that way. Wait a minute, what's that? Configuration data. If I remember rightly, that actually used to help a lot, actually. FTC controller, a uh, floppy disk controller, yeah, FTC. Um, China, alright, okay. IS3. Right, we should be alright now. Let's see what happens. It should find the drivers. It might ask to install them, but I think it's driver signed with most of um, Sound Blaster sound cards. If I remember rightly. Ah, I think I've, ch I've changed the mouse as well. So I'm hoping that will help. Oh, long live, <laughs> long live SSD and stuff. What's the mouse like? It's a little bit. Middly now, right? You should find the sound card that should be the sound blaster 32. Yeah, motherboard resources for it. Oh, that'll be the other thing. What I changed, I don't know whether or not it requires a reboot, but it might just kick over and install the drivers for the sound card now. Oh, and the graphics card early driver that might actually turn the acceleration on for the video card vision 864 mm. I think I've had a couple of them graphics cards in real life there we go Sound Blaster plug and play. Plug and pray as we used to call it. Because they, they, they were notorious. Not so much with 98 but 95 when they were starting to introduce plug and play. The amount of blue screens you used to get was amazing. Yeah, look. These were in the cab files. That's why it's installing without actually asking for disks. Because what you used to do was you install, you copy all the cab files onto the drive. You can still do it Windows with Windows. Well, not so much with Windows 9, Windows 11, but with, I think Windows 10, the folder is similar to Windows 2000, which here used to be WinNT. So you could just copy WinNT onto your system. And then, but nowadays, obviously, it's pre-cached on a drive anyway. But on the older days, when you used to use CD-ROMs, I think it was 98 on Windows 7, they had the same folders as NT. So you could just copy the Win, Win NT folder to the system and then point the, the drives to, you know, point the installation from that port of that, you know, that root location. And it would just used to install like it does here now. 
I think it's similar to what um, Linux does. Windows Linux, you know, distros of Linux. Um, I think that copies a file in it. has a very similar system to it. You know, there's a folder where I don't know too much about Linux. I have used it, and I, I you know, I set up file, you know, drives with it. I've installed servers with it and stuff. Um, I used to do it with the like, like say, the small single chip computers and all that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, but it's very similar. It's, it's built on the architecture of OS X. You know, it, it is Lin, it is Unix basically. But my um, Apple. Oh, there we go. Oh, in fact, I think we're gonna change that sound card driver yet again. In fact, should I change the mother? No, I won't. You, you see, the overdrive chip wasn't all that good, to be honest. What else have we got? Uh, it's 686. What's in the... That's the gateway. Ugh. What have we got in there? 200 megahertz. We could try it to another chipset now. There's MSI. MSI. Uh, they, they were about around about that PC Partner. PC Partner used to be a good one. Pentium Pro, Pentium Mobile. Uh, let's go from... Socket 8, Super 370, that's in there, nah, Pentium Pro Overdrive, Pentium 2, is that, alright, that go to 450 megahertz, right, I'm just testing this out by the way guys, Um. Can you go to any more memory? No, you can't. I'm going to change the graphics card. t 4000. That was actually the Diamond Stealth. That was a good one, that. That was a really good graphics card, that. Now, uh, you go up to, oh, it's only 2 megabytes. I thought they'd done a 4 mega variant. Didn't they do a 4 meg variant? I thought they did. Okay. Cyrus Logi, let's pick another one then. Using that trio, that was a common one. Verge, Diamond Stell, Diamond. I uh, know these Verge, this three Verges, Matrox, Trident, uh, Voodoo 2, Voodoo. Right, I could pick a Voodoo actually. A Voodoo, not the Voodoo 3. Oh, right, I could use a Voodoo 3. Compact, 3500. Oh. Falcon Voodoo 3, what's that? I don't even see, I'm not even. Well, how much is that one? That's render. F All right. I don't know much. I wonder if that's. I'm just out of curiosity what that is. We're just going to go. Uh, Microsoft serial box mouse. All right. Uh, I don't need to look at that. Sound card. I'm going to change the sound card to a Sound Blaster 16. You can swap these anyway, it doesn't matter. MFM faster. Floating point, 32 bit. All right. Okay. Don't need to connect any other hardware. Storage devices. Yeah. Okay. What's in there? IDE controller, PCI slot one. No. Um, hard disk. That's all right. That'll do. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Oh, look, 3,500. Voodoo. You might have to find the drivers for that. Okay, bag on. Let me show you where you live. All right, okay. Don't matter. This will be like a lifetime of installation of the drivers. But I don't think I'll be letting you sit through this one because I'll probably test this for myself because I want to try and get the best performance out of the machine. Obviously, I've just spent an hour chatting and um, probably boring the pants off people. Um, but that's the, I think it's my ADD really because it's like in two fa just around about the time of the, the actual pandemic, I had a stroke. 
and at one particular time I never used to really speak and now I just tired don't show up <laughs> anyway <laughs> I'm gonna love you and leave you and we're gonna call it a day and I'm going to uh, stop the recording now thanks for watching you know where I am if you like this stuff I'm doing say something I apologize if the microphones is a bit crap um, take care and I'll see you in the next one ciao for now